Billy Beige here, and I want to talk about what happened to Super 7's Rat King figure. Uh, just a preface here, I know Playmates gave uh, Super 7 the slap about using, or at least using the inspiration for their figures from their molds uh, of the original TMNT figures for their Su uh, Super 7 Ultimates figures. Uh, I get that, I know. Let's go on past that. Um, I saw when they were released, well, they, they, they kind of got leaked and then it was like just fully released on Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth, the pictures of the, the Wave 7. I believe it's Wave 7 at this point. We got a lot of these things. Uh, Rat King and then the Mirage Casey Jones, which is just, just a repaint in a, another head. Uh, Ninja April O'Neil and like Rocker Leonardo. All the, those three figures completely fit in the Ultimates line. Uh, <clears throat> I understand what they had to do with, like, April, where she doesn't have, like, the, the what is it, like, a zebra print leotard or dress. Uh, I'm, I'm down with April just having, like, a, a yellow ninja outfit. That's fine. Uh, red shirt Casey Jones from Mirage Comics. That's dope. You already released one. Use the mold again. I completely understand that. Uh, Rocco Leonardo, I, I can see where he's not that first tier figure from Playmates, so it probably got the pass. Uh, the ones that are like iconic and have where it's like directly, it is the turtle. It's not the turtle in space or the turtle in such and such and such. such. Uh, probably got a pass. Um, but Rat King, Rat King would be like, like, they released one Rat King for the original Playmates line. There was a couple for other lines down the line, but we do not. We have, like, I think five Rat King figures uh, all together. Um, and this new one, this new one looks like he belongs in a, a, an anime, or he uh, is Mr. Still Your Girlfriend Rat King. I, I'm not a fan of how he looks. Uh... He has that generic muscle body, like the the texture on his outfit looks great. The all the stitching and stuff, I can I can believe you know he got like a buffed up Rat King. The the original Mirage Comics Rat King had where he was buff. He was gross though. And that's my biggest problem. This Rat King has where he is not gross. Just because you're pale and got some like a, a little bit of a guy liner around your eyes does not make you a monster. Uh, uh, I understand he only has the flute uh, with that, and just looking at this, and comparing it to the original uh, 90s cartoon, and then the NECA cartoon figure, it looks like it's based on the, like, the, the 90s cartoon, maybe even part of, like, Shredder's Revenge, where uh, Rat King appears in that, Mainly because he comes with a flute, which, I mean, like, the flute was in, like, one episode of the 90s cartoon. Uh, it, it's not, like, a, a super big deal. It's not super iconic. It's kind of that random stuff there. Uh, I, I wish, if they were going to do this, have a couple different heads. Have where you do, like, this, this, this pretty boy head, but then have a head with, like, the bulging, the bulging red eyes. Have a have a, a lumpy face. It doesn't have to be exactly this face. What you take away from that is Rat King has a lumpy, looks like his face has been broken. He's missing part of his nose. He's balding in spots. That's what I take away from this mold. You don't have to do exactly this head. You could do something inspired by it or has where it's in the vein of it, the most basic vein. Bulging eyes, lumpy head. He doesn't have perfect late 80s punk hair. Just just something else. Or, since you're doing the Mirage Comics Casey Jones, do a Mirage Comics head for him. The Mirage Comics head is gross as hell. It just has where it's all over the place. Spindly hair. He looks, he's, he looks like he's been gnawed on. He looks dirty. Do that. Don't do something that someone's already doing. You NECA has where they have this 
already done 90s turtle version. This looks like a 90s turtle version, just meh. I'm sorry you hear my cat, he's a jerk. Uh, he's upset about Rat King too, apparently. Um, and it, let's see here, he comes, he comes with three rats. He comes with a, a rat eating pizza, a kind of like hanging out rat, and then like a backwards looking over its shoulder rat. That's good. Uh, good accessories. I I know you probably can't couldn't do the crossbow. You couldn't do the, the rat hook. Uh, probably definitely didn't want to do the run over cat belt. No, no offense, Gamera. You're, you're good. Or have where you got like all the same bugs and bones stuck in there on his stuff. But you could have done something different. Have where his his outline at least had where it wasn't this generic again generic muscle guy with handsome face it is is a handsome face that's what it is my understanding and from what i've heard is super seven no longer employs the four horsemen to do their sculpting um and from this wave, you can tell what figures were sculpted by the Four Horsemen and what figure wasn't. And that figure is Rat King. Rat King was not sculpted by the Four Horsemen, and it it shows. And I don't think anybody got into the TMNT Ultimates line to have a generic, watered-down version of a character they love. I didn't like get pulled into this to have where I, I buy a mutagen man that has where he's, he's, he's nice and pretty. No, I came, got into the ultimates line to get a mutagen man who is immense and gross, very immense, very gross. That's, that's why I'm here. That's what I wanted. I don't see why there is a reason they could not have taken inspiration from the Mirage comics we're taking the very basic idea of making a gross figure. It doesn't have to look exactly like this. It it could just have orange hair, red bulging eyes, messed up face, and some crap on him. That's it. It'd be perfect. And what really upsets about upsets me about this, because like, I mean, I like Rat King. I love Mutagen Man. I I love the most, though. Is Pizza Face. And I'm extremely upset that I won't get a Playmates inspired version of Pizza Face. But I understand legal reasons. It's not going to look like this if they make him. But now I'm afraid they're going to make him this hunky pizza chef. <laughs> and he's going to have like two complete legs or something. Or, uh, just just something goofy and awful. Uh, there's so many iterations of all these characters that never got a figure. There's, like, even, like, see, the 2003 version, you could have pulled elements from that where he's, like, spliced together with a bunch of stuff. Uh, I know my friend Maverick loves the 2003 Turtles. Uh, you could have done the 2012 Turtles where it's uh, Jeffrey Combs and he's all, like, rotting and de uh, dilapidated and he looks really gaunt and stuff. Toss that in the design. Just just mix it up. Don't do what someone's already doing with figures right now. Don't don't go off a of NECA and be like, ah, oh, you know, let's let's start doing cartoon turtles. That's that's NECA's game right there. Uh I don't un know the rights or anything with how they're doing it. It seemed like for the longest time NECA NECA got movies and NECA got cartoon, and then Super 7 was doing the toys. The toy version of toys. Uh, now it seems like they can't do that. So I'm afraid they're going to start just start doing the cartoon. Or they're going to start trying to like who knows. We might get like a movie version of the Turtles. And I'm afraid it's going to be on the buck we already have with a different paint job. And I'm not optimistic. And just uh, I'm hoping for the best. I could see getting like a 3D printed head for this new Super 7 Rat King to make him a little bit better. If he just if he just came with a different head. Just a different head. 
he would just, he'd be immensely better. But God, that head is just awful. And they try, they try with the second head. The second head has, has like a red glow to the eyes. Like he has like, he looks like he got high. He looks like Rat King got high. He was smoking his flute. And, uh, it's not great. You could have just gave this head sculpt bulging eyes. You could have gave him a wart. But it looks like they are doing the cartoon version or a cartoon inspired version of Rat King. And I'm just not down for it. And it's, it's making it easy not to collect this line. And I, I hate when that happens, but it seems like that happens more often lately. Uh, first with like Hasbro and I didn't think it would get the super seven, but now it's down to super seven where it's just like, this is an easy out now. Um, well, uh, leave some comments below your thoughts on the rat King, uh, tragedy that we're going through right now, because man, I feel bad for my rat King, bud. I feel bad for you, bud. You were such an inspired character and just like, I was so excited to see a new version of you, but <sighs> R.I.P. bro. Uh, yeah, leave some comments, uh, like, subscribe. Uh, see you next time.